especially vegan food on this channel. Today is a very exciting day. This is going to be the first episode of my Get Shredded Diaries. I'm gonna take you through my entire calorie deficit journey and how I'm going to manage to lose weight but still maintain my muscle. I'm currently four weeks in. So as you can see, I've just woke up. I'm just getting ready for the gym, just sipping on my Oxy Shred. So I'm just going to take these off. So as some of you may know, I was doing my wellness diary, I wasn't that particularly focused on calories and how much food I was putting in my body, I was just trying to feel what my body needed and that did actually put me in a really nice state of mind for this calorie deficit. So for me personally, I essentially worked out my maintenance through my muscle mass because obviously if you're going to the gym, you're going to have a higher muscle mass. I then figured out how much protein I needed per day, so I wanted to stay at around 25% of protein. Then I figured out my fats, so fats again were very similar to protein, I, it was either 25 to 30%. And then in terms of carbohydrates, that was just the rest of my energy source. That is how I worked out my macros initially. I then got to week two of having no set goal, I was just on a slight deficit and things weren't really moving as much as I wanted to. So that is when I actually decided to put in my set goal. Now that I have just cleansed my face, I've added a little bit of toner, I'm just going to add some SPF because I always wear SPF. And I'm actually going to add some tanning drops because I have tanned yesterday. So I want kind of my face to match. I'm just using the St. Morris Face Tan Serum in light. So just that one. I'm going to add two drops today into my moisturizer because I did tan quite dark yesterday. So after incorporating a step goal on week two, everything started dropping <laughs> really suddenly. I was doing five workouts a week. So that's another thing I went from four to five workouts, but I'll talk about that later. Once I did my step goal, my expenditure was so high that my body started dropping quite quickly. And now it's kind of dropping at a rate of 0.5 kilograms per week, which is kind of where I want to be. I don't really want to be any quicker than that because then you're risking losing more muscle. So that is my morning skincare. I am a very basic skincare kind of girl. I really don't like to <laughs> apply too much to my face. So now it's gonna be makeup. This is my most favorite foundation in the world. I cannot live without this now. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Yeah, because I'm at the point where I'm losing 0.5 kilograms Per week, I'm not actually incorporating a cardio goal yet. I think I'll get to a point where I need to incorporate a cardio goal. And when I do, it's most likely going to be one session for 20 minutes a week, which will then go up to two sessions 20 times a week. And you see how we're kind of just making these small steps. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. And then final steps are brow pencil and just some mascara. I'm just wearing some brown mascara because I feel like it's really nice and natural. So I'm just going to shower and then I think it's gonna be time for some breakfast. Okay, so this is gym outfit of choice today. I've got the effortless black leggings, vintage purple mellow soft top, and I'm wearing the black unified bralette. This is such a nice. I absolutely love the unified tops. They are just so adorable. Currently time for breakfast. So I'm having a protein waffle, and this is how I'm going to basically volumize it. I'm basically you're just going to add a kiwi on the side, so. I try to add fruit and veg with every single meal because obviously fruit and veg is really low cal most of the time. So it's really easy to bump up the amount that you're eating without actually touching many calories. 
So yeah, I'm just going to make this for my breakfast and then it's gym time. So I've just got back from the gym and I'm just having my post-workout snack. I've just got some banana bread, which I've showed you before on this channel, and some walnuts, which are just my healthy fats for today. I've also just made a quick protein shake because I like to take this after my workouts if I can. If I'm working out before work, then I don't. I just have some protein oats instead, which I just take in my car. So workout is done, steps are in. It's actually my deload week this week, which means that I would have seen that I'm lifting very light weights because I'm really trying to focus on form. Previous deload weeks, I have taken out all of my gym workouts, not done any gym workouts and just focused on mobility, walking yoga, those sorts of exercises. But actually, I think it's really critical during my calorie deficit to not take out my gym workouts, but instead just focus more on form during my deload weeks and really bring down the weight. So the form that I'm trying to aim for is very, very slow eccentric, which is where the muscle is lengthening. So for example, if you're going down on a squat, 
going down really, really slow until you hit the top of your range of motion. And then a very quick concentric, so coming up really quickly. And that way you're putting as much tension under the muscle as you possibly can which is really beneficial for hypertrophy. So I'm currently doing five workouts this week, like I said to you this morning. I used to do four, but I wanted to increase my expenditure even more, so I added in a fifth workout. All I did was take away my biceps and triceps and delt workouts from within the week, and I formed it into a new workout. So it's actually like a really nice day to add on to my routine because it's really simple, really quick and easy, and it means that my other gym sessions are much less crowded. So I'm currently doing two posterior chains per week, which is back and glutes and hamstrings, two anterior chain, which is quads and chest, and then one arms and delts session per week. And then I do my 10K steps. It really allows me to work out my muscles as much as I can whilst giving myself enough rest in between each session. If there's anything that you guys particularly want to know about my calorie deficit, how I'm doing things, then, then please let me know down in the comments and I'll try to make a video on it. But I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you can, please like and subscribe down below. It really helps with my channel and I'll see you all next week. See you later.